With the 4th of July weekend upon us, it's time to remember how to safely enjoy fireworks. Studies show about 10,000 people are injured by fireworks every single year, but each of those injuries are preventable. Good for Utah's Emily Clark shows us how to protect ourselves and our children. Ready? It's that time of year again. You've probably seen the firework stands popping up around town, but are you ready to use them safely? There are about 10,000 injuries that come through the U.S. emergency rooms around the 4th of July. Some of the worst are facial injuries from the explosive device and then hand injuries also from explosive device or burns. Bradley Morris, a physician assistant at Intermountain Medical Center's trauma service, says you need to plan ahead to make sure you survive the holiday. The most important thing to keep in mind, your kids. They're always the ones that we have to keep our closest eye on. And the way to do that is to constantly supervise. Not only watch them closely, but keep them far away. At least 200 feet away from the firework area. But your biggest concern when it comes to fireworks and kids might surprise you. They say it's the sparklers. Sparklers are the kids' delight. They seem like they're easy and safe, but they lead to a, a very large number of uh, ER visits, about a thousand. While kids are a concern, everyone needs to be smart. Fireworks can cause serious harm and damage. I have seen amputated fingers from even the smallest explosive devices such as firecrackers. It seems to be a common teenager theme to try to hold the firecracker as long as possible before throwing it. You might just be trying to have fun, but it's that fun that can lead to the problem, a problem that is 100% preventable. That's the downside with fireworks. The best ones are the most dangerous ones. But the warning isn't to say you should bypass the fireworks. Just be smart. And they're doable. They just have to be well controlled. Controlled and enjoyed. A perk of this 4th of July holiday. Emily Clark, good for Utah. Another good reminder, make sure that you have a bucket of water on standby. That way you can drench each firework completely before you throw them away. If you do have a problem, we're here to help. For a look at the best treatments for burns and when you should go to the hospital, just head over to our website, goodforutah.com. We'll be right back.